Yeah, you can say hello. Wish you were here. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the first of what should be a series of Google Apps EDU. Uh, we're going to introduce today the Google Drive. And let's just remember, I, about two months back, I talked a little bit about Web 2.0 tools. And Web 2.0 refers to today's internet. So it's really an online collaborative community. And the ultimate Web 2.0 tool right now for teachers is, is Google EDU. So there's four major components. There's email, there's the calendar, there's website development, which is really nice because iWeb has gone out. There's no more iWeb. They're not going to renew. So people have to start to transition their websites. Uh, and then lastly, there's the drive, which we're going to learn about today. So the drive, in short, it's a place to store all your documents in the cloud. In the cloud refers to just online, in online space. Uh, did anybody hear what happened to Angela Hatch yesterday? If you didn't hear what happened, her computer crashed and she lost everything. She doesn't have it backed up. So all, the hours, all those hours of work, all those lesson plans, everything that she had, it's gone, never to be retrieved again. So today, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we can get your stuff to the cloud and we'll make sure that doesn't happen to you. Uh, another really cool thing is you can actually create both personal and shared Word docs, presentations, spreadsheets, and forms. And I'm going to kind of show you the basics of how, that, how we begin there. Yes? Would I have to worry about confidentiality with documents in the cloud? No, because you wouldn't have them be shared with the world. Okay. They're only going to be the people that you select, right. and we'll show you that. Oh, okay. And what we've done, just to give you some background, we have our own jamesonschool.org domain. Okay? That is our, how our email is set up, and that's how you'll log in today. I'm going to show you that. This is, a, this is provided by Google for schools for free. Bill Gates Initiative he wants to provide this for free. Normally, it's five dollars per person per month. So, this is really nice cost savings. So, the district's trying to save on money. Who knows what's going to happen here? But uh, this is kind of the direction we're going. So, at least we can introduce the drive, and we can show you the sharing features. Uh, that's what we'll do today here. So, before I get into the drive, let me just show you. Uh, in a moment, I'll show you the quick intro video on what Google Google Apps EDU is. The visual might help you just kind of put it all together. Then the mini lesson's going to be logging in. We'll actually do the step-by-step. -step. Okay, we'll do the step-by-step -step together before we break off the PLCs. I'm going to show you how to create folders and docs in your drive with shared features. And then we're also going to transfer all your existing files from your computer, your jump drive, whatever you brought today. We're going to transfer that up to your cloud. and You'll be set to go. I got everybody's account set up. Uh, then the workshop piece, PLCs work together the, to transfer files and also t start to talk about what are some best uses, what, what can you do in your classroom, sharing lessons, uh, sharing PLC notes. And then at the end, Mike's going to lead the discussion on uh, what were some of those best uses in PLCs. Let's see what people started to think of. And then school-wide suggestions. Uh, what, what can we do with the school-wide? And so we're all on the same page and we're all on board together. So let me play the video. Is a suite of web based tools that includes Gmail for Business, Google Calendar, Google Docs, and Google Sites, as well as many other apps that help you run your business more productively and efficiently. No matter where you are, your important work information and files will always be at your fingertips. Access your business email, calendar, docs, and more from any web enabled device, including your PC, mobile phone, and tablet. Gone are the days of expensive hardware, downloads, and costly upgrades. You access your Google Apps straight from the web and your business tools are always up to date with the newest features. Gmail gives you professional email, customized just for your company. Each employee gets an email address at yourcompany.com, so your outbound messages look more professional and you can build an identity with customers. Gmail comes with great features to help you save time and stay organized. You can search for emails with Google Powered Search, and you can also star and sort important messages with labels, which are like folders to help keep track of the messages that matter. Gmail's industry-leading spam filtering helps your inbox stay clean and relevant. And with 25 gigabytes of email storage per person, you'll never have to worry about deleting an email. After all this, Gmail is more than just email. Instant message, voice chat, and video chat even make phone calls straight from Gmail. So in one place, you have everything you need to communicate and work together. Google Calendar saves you time and energy with a calendar and solution that is fast, intuitive, and easy to use. Scheduling a meeting with more than a few people can often be difficult. 
With Google Calendar, you can overlay and view your colleagues' calendars to quickly find a time that works for everyone. You and your teammates can also create group calendars, so you can each share, edit, and add events to the same calendar and always be on the same page. Feel free to make events private, share with individuals and groups, or even share your calendar publicly so your business can easily communicate with customers and external groups. Google Docs brings you online documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and web forms. You can easily create, upload, and edit your online docs, and sharing is easy. Quickly share with individuals, teams, or even people outside your business. It's easy to change and manage privacy settings whenever you'd like. With real-time collaboration, you and your colleagues can work together on the same document at the same time and actually see changes being made as they happen. Comment and discuss on the right-hand side of the document as if you were in the same room as your colleagues. This also means you never have to worry about having multiple versions of the same document floating around. Everyone accesses the most updated version all the time, and older versions are kept on record in a revision history. You can also use Google Docs to upload and store other file formats. It's like your personal filing cabinet, and you can use it to store pictures, PDFs, even videos you can play straight from Docs. Google Sites allows you to easily build internal websites to organize and share your business information. Centralize important documents, calendars, and other resources on a company internet, or keep teams organized on a project site with team resources, contact information, and more. Creating a site doesn't require any knowledge of coding or HTML. It's as easy as editing a document. Gmail, Calendar, Docs, and Sites make up the core of the Google Apps Suite and cost just pop. Okay, there we go. So we had a question, are we switching to Gmail? Just to make that clear, we're not switching to, to Gmail here. We're going to use the Drive feature, and that, that'll be our start. Okay, uh, but the nice part is if we did switch over to the Gmail, we would ha each have our own email at jamesonschool.org. That's how we, how we sign in here. So I'll show you. I kept it the same. It's the first letter of your first name and your last name at jamesonschool.org. So quickly, uh, the Google Drive, you just heard a little bit about it. About it. Um, like I said, you can store and create files in the cloud. Uh, here's all the features. You can see them down the left-hand side. There's docs, presentations, spreadsheets, and forms. Uh, you can transfer files in any format by just dragging and dropping. So if you have PowerPoint presentations, Keynote, Word, Excel files, whether you made it on a PC or Mac, whatever you have today, when we drag and drop them over to Google, they transform and they save in the cloud in, in, in that format. So everything's transferable. Yes. yes, absolutely. We're going to talk about that in a little bit, actually. Anytime. So that's next. Anytime, anywhere, access with any device. I'm going to, we're going to have actually, actually have an example in a little bit where Sue will be on her cell phone, Mike will be on his iPad, Beth will be on her computer, and we'll all be working together on the same document. It's pretty nifty. And it's easy to do. It is nifty. <laughs> uh, you'll be able to do stuff at school on your laptop, and you might at home be able to finish it on your iPad. Awesome. Exactly. It's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, and that's why it's really important for all school issued things. We have password. They're password protected, so they can't get into your files, into your drive. Okay, and I even sometimes, my personal drive I log out of. Uh, my school one I probably would log out of as well. So if you have a phone without password protected, and then you're keeping your drive open, people would have access to those files. So those are things we have to think about. We have to be really smart about. Uh, and we can, talk about, we can talk more about that. If people are interested in using the tablet or their phone, whatever, we can maybe meet in a group, even today, and I can show you how to do it. Okay. Uh, then the real-time collaboration piece, uh, I, I'll I'll demonstrate an example of that. So that basically means you can work on a document together, both be typing at the same time from anywhere. Um, <clears throat> then some examples of what it just I thought off the top of my head because we're meeting as a whole school. PLC notes. How cool would it be to have this, the PLC notes as real-time collabor collaboration? So everybody could pull it up if they wanted out front of them, and they could be seeing the notes that are happening out front of them, and if they thought, oh, I'd like to add this in, they missed this, they can see that you actually typed that in in the PLC notes. We can go back to make comments, and 
you can check those notes together. So it's one working document. It's pretty cool. Uh, I was thinking about the copying good, um, copying good collection. That's been a pain. We could have one big form where uh, all the copying good data is collected there. Uh, the breakfast and lunch data collection. We're wasting paper every day. We, we have a new sheet for every single day. What if a teacher could just pull up one form and they could check off who had milk for that day? That would make a lot more sense. And then uh, I thought about RTA, uh, RTI, both, uh, both A and B, intervention tracking. We have a file cabinet in, in the office. Well, why, why can't we have something online where everybody, when I'm done intervention, I could say, these are the skills that were taught. This is the intervention. It was LLI. These are the results. And then um, just various student assessments through forms. And I don't want to overwhelm you. Th those are all things we can talk about later, OK? But today, let's just focus <laughs> on so logging you in and showing you how to create folders. But these are all the possibilities. And it, we're not going to learn it overnight, people, OK? It's, it's, it's a process. But these are, these are our possibilities. So, <laughs> sorry. Next, yeah, I am a quick talker. I'll slow it down for you guys. So this is the point where we can all get on a laptop, and we can actually type this right into our browser. HTTP. You can read it right there. Google.com. This will bring us to our login. So we'll do step by step, everybody here. And let's make sure everybody gets in and everybody's good. <coughs> and if people are having trouble, Mike and Beth will come around and, and they'll be there to help you out. Sure. True that. If you want to create a bookmark, that would be really smart. So once you're, at, yeah, once you're right there at that yeah. page, exactly. Okay, so then You'll come to a page, it says Google Jameson Elementary School. And there'll be a login option on the left. Your login. I give an example of the login. Everybody's just like that. And what I did was I kept it the same as your Glockster login. So it's your last name, Rocks. OK, that's your password right now. So Falvi will be Falvi Rocks. Mutstatos Rocks. Maturo Rocks. That's your password. Type in exactly like the example is your first letter of your first name and your last name at jamesonschool.org. It's no case sensitive. Okay, I'm going to do the same. Mine looks a little different. This is an admin login, but I get W, Cochran. <laughs> okay, so everybody should be here, right? Perfect. So let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do first is everybody can, we're going to be working on our drive. So you can go ahead and click on drive right now. And guys, when you come in, this is what your drive looks like right here. This is our drive home. Let me just show you kind of the features. Along the left side here, you can see an option to create. The first thing I was going to show you to do is to create just an individual folder. I click on folder. I'm going to na name this folder. I'm just going to put this as my stuff. Because this will just be a folder that's private to me. Nobody's going to look at this folder but me. Okay? So if I just create my stuff, there it is. Pretty easy to do. So if I click in this folder, obviously there's nothing there. So what I've done is I have a little folder off to the side. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to shrink this box up. I'm going to have to get out of the presentation, close it out. Let me show you how to just get some things over there. So I have Google Drive files. And this is for the purpose of the presentation. I put some things together here. Um, so things that were just me. I had some AV team stuff. So what I was going to do is show you. To, to drag and drop, all I do is bring it over. And drop it and it uploads. Okay. Yeah. Let me show. Yeah, no problem. Hold on. If I press on my stuff. Now, do you need to know how to create the, the folder again? No, I don't. All right, can you drop a folder in that folder? You can drop a folder in that folder, yes. So you can take anything off your desktop. 
If I come back to my drive, now oh, Andrew, what was the question? Okay, I'm going to press on my stuff. I'm in my folder, my stuff, right now. I'm going to come over to the other folder I had right from my computer, and it's just as simple as this. Uh, let's just say, here's an LOI record from the spring, and I just want to keep that just for me right now, my stuff. Drag it, release it, and watch it uploads. And when it's done uploading, it gives you option to share. If you wanted to share that with someone, you could do that. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I don't want to get ahead of it. Everybody understand that? Creating an individual folder. We all good there? Just drag it right into my stuff and drop it. It's that simple. You don't have to download the drive. No. It's a drag and drop and it works. It didn't do it? I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to check. We're, go, we're, go, we're going to work through all these issues. You can. You can, you can drag a folder if you want. You can drag a whole folder. Okay, we're, go we're, we're going to have some time to do this. This is the work we're going to do together. But just want to show you the next thing, if that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to start another folder. And I'm going to just say this. This is Trek Team Notes. This will be a shared folder. Let me just show you how we'd share a folder. Today you might be creating a folder. might see second grade PLC document or whatever grade you are. For the purpose of my demonstration here, I'm going to make a tech team notes. Oops. You have to be careful where you put it. I actually made the tech team notes inside my stuff. So I'm going to come back to my drive. It's pretty easy to delete things too. If you just check off the box, you have options here. And here's your trash can if you need to delete something. I'm going to come back to my drive and now I'm going to create Another folder, tech team notes. I'm going to press create. Here it is. Now I want to make this a shared folder. I come over here to my side, there's a little arrow, and there's options, a lot of options. If you come here to share, these are what sharing options look like. Let's me know now that this is private right here, OK? Only, the only person that can see this is me, but I want to change that. I press on change. I, can, I have options. I can make it public on the web so anybody on the internet can see this. Uh, anybody with the link, uh, no signing required. So um, I was collecting some data for my PBL project, and I made it this, anyone with a link. I, I didn't make it public on the web so anybody could find it, but if you had that link, you, you could use it. And then the nice thing about having our Jameson School community is here is I can make this for everybody at Jameson Elementary to see, or I can make it for people at Jameson School with the link to see. I'm going to actually keep it private. Let me see. I'm going to add people on right here, OK? So the only people that can see it are the people that I add. I'm going to add Beth, because Beth and I meet about technology. And I'm going to add Mike as well. <coughs> I press save and share, and I've now given them access to that folder just by putting their email in. And it's on my computer right now. Yeah. Zoop. 
and it's already popped up. She's already got it. Okay, so we'll work with you on that piece today. That will be an important piece. So second grade PLC, you can maybe pick one person from each PLC that will be in charge of making that folder and sharing with people, or maybe you can do some practice today, and we'll work with you through that practice. Can you show them how I can type on it? Sure. Now we're going to get into creating a document. The really cool thing about creating a document, on, I know, we're going to work through all these things with you. I want to show them to you, and then we'll... All those questions, we'll, we'll flesh it out in a little bit. Second grade, I'm coming over there in a minute. Yeah, she'll be coming over. <laughs> it's kind of like the mini lesson piece. You know, this is my time. I'm going to show it to you, the and then, then we're going to come, we're going to work it out. So keep those questions in mind, and we'll, we'll answer them for sure. So, document. Okay, a document is just like a Word document. It's like a pages document, but it's online. So I'll, it's as simple as just right there. I've created an online document right here. This piece I could just keep for myself. Um, tech notes. At this point, this is a private document. Nobody can see it but me. But, if, but I can put them on really easily. Watch. I'm going to show you right now. I press on the share button. Let me go over here and show you again. Share is right up here. Mike's already added, Beth's already added, because I opened that right in that folder, it's a shared folder, but I was going to add Sue on too. Okay. <laughs> so we're on right now. So actually, Mike, if you go on your iPad, can you see that document? Did it pop up? And same thing with Beth? Yep. Anybody that has, uh, has an email that is connected to Google Docs? That's a good question. Yes, you can connect with anybody that, that has Google Docs. I want to type in. You're not, you're on the wrong one. You got to go to the one I just created. Mike, do you have that document? You're not in your drive. You got to go to drive. Yep, it's okay. Shared with me. Tech team notes. Boom. Open that and you're in. So then Beth actually is in. Sue's in. She's on her phone right now. They're kind of typing over each other. But this is how it works. Everybody's able to, to collaborate on the same document. So this is really cool for PLC notes. And Mike's been shared too. If Mike were to go on his iPad, he could hop in here. All right. So I've showed you some things. Obviously, people have questions. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of break into smaller groups now. So that way we can concentrate on the questions. Beth's going to come over to second grade. Yeah, and the cute. Everybody's got one. You don't see your own, though. All right, great. So let's break off, and we'll answer all those questions and get a better understanding of how this works. Because obviously, here I come. Here she comes. Perfect. I'll come with you guys. Yeah, and Mike could hop on from his iPad if he wanted to. Yeah. 